skilled repair droid is both a shop and a repair station, so we can repair anything that needs to be repaired and sell off any necessary items as long as we're not in combat. So I'll have to do that later. going on? Who are you? Why can't I see anything? If you're one of Father's goons, I swear I'll... Burnock hired me to free you. Burnock the idiot. I told him not to stick his neck out. Get away from me. I can handle myself. If only I could see. Can't someone turn on a light? Do exactly what I say, or you're dead. What? Look, I don't need to... Forget it. Sorry. Thank you for getting me out of there. Just wasn't sure I could trust you. Look, I came in here to find a stash father said to be hiding. I found the key to the stash, but as soon as I grabbed it, I got froze. Take the key and the stash as your reward for saving my life. As for me, I'll call my pal Burnock. Think I'll be safe waiting here for him to help me out. Burnock may not look like much, but he's dependable to a fault. Besides, you seem to have cleared the place well enough. Anyway, thanks again. Maybe I'll see you back in Jaguna at Old Nemro's. And now that he's dead, we will take the stash. And then we just have to return to Burnock, which we'll do after we finish what we're doing here in Fothra's Palace.
access codes to get into Puffer's archives. Malambiamgin, Hamgam Nea Bek Kabraka, Manala Yang Perlu, Amkat Kalami Naya Kira Nubua. Hello, Nan. What brings you down here? Father finally ordered you to check out the shooting. Nuli lak apa jam kamram. Am kanem nang nemua inuk. Kali ruma. Mereka baka lebek ruma. I like that about you, Nan. You only bet on a sure thing. Jam gam nukara nukara. Kam nam gam gek arega naya. If you're with Fathra, you're dead. Simple as that. Kremini, baby. Rapa Praha Vernagarak. I knew coming here would be a good time. As you can see, as long as you're in the hands and the bloodshed, you can play this case, please. All going down. That's it then. Better hope your boss knows how to make a convincing forgery. Of course. There's going to be a bloodbath once Nemro and Tafelgen see what's on the disc. How do you know what's on the hollow disc? All I know is what your keeper told us. But I'm not stupid. If that disc really names all of Fathra's business partners, it probably identifies half the people in Jaguna. Merchants, gangsters, debtors, the usual scum. When Nemro gets a hold of it, he'll want revenge on anyone who dared to go to Fathra behind his back. data and scratch up the disc. Make it look like only the doctored recording miraculously survived the damage. So, we deliver Keeper's forgery without the real data. Nemro doesn't get his revenge spree. The risk is that Toffelgen figures out you erase the good stuff. I'm not endangering the mission to protect the lowlifes of Hutter. Ah, oh, aren't we dedicated? I knew I'd learn something about you on this mission. Now let's get that thing to Toffelgen and see what happens. travel because we don't really need to fight anyone else and level up anymore we're already seven levels stronger than this planet Check in with our trainer and turn on our side quests. 
Well, 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 look who's here. You're the one that saved my buddy Oren. Without you, that man'd still be hanging in Fathra's trophy room. He's got a few scrapes, but he, he's doing pretty well. I'm very good at my work. Well, thank you anyhow. Here's your credits. And I'll tell you what, once Oren's sight is all back, we'll buy you a drink. A couple of drinks. thing we got besides the dark side and experience and Cleo went up to influence level four so it's not hard you see to climb companionship levels as long as you're making the choices that they agree with especially if it's something major I know every trick of the trade Trust no one. Hello, Topazhen. The Red Blade claims to have something to show you. Manchi do ti puna puna, kabuk nuni slemo. Mukili mo klunki, nik mi chawa wilmo. I stole these recordings from Fathra's palace. Take a look. Poya tuka changa goptula do bata wana wanki. Liska taka, ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Nakwa no ya chuski no i kuchusu, yo mata chitoya. Tapatunga, chisa bicha wongi chikatoko. You'll need help to stay competitive. But the Republic does have enemies. They might be useful. Mi pikasa na shura, ma fopaji. Imache Churon Chica Jiliska Chanaga Jiliska Tanaga Ine Chai Jo Ron Chica. A pleasure doing business with you, mighty Nemro. Jiola Gupa, I Tuta Mishka. Dobata Jimoa Tusawa, Mikuna Posta Morulia. Jimpawa the Lord of Muma. Telling you, baby, I'm big time. Moving up, climbing the ladder. Uh huh. As soon as Nemo hears how I've been cracking skulls in the room. The deed is done, Agent. Nemro is already contacting Imperial Embassies, looking to establish relations. He'll be eating out of our hands within the month. In the short term, our chemical and stimulant stockpiles will nearly double. In the long term, we're a step closer to bringing all of Hutter under Imperial control. I'll make my full report to Darth Jadis shortly. I expect he'll be very pleased with our work. That's excellent news, sir. Your future with Imperial intelligence looks bright. But we can discuss that face to face. Your mission is now complete. There's a shuttle waiting for you in Jaguna. It will take you to Drummond Cast. 
Once you've arrived on planet, report to Imperial Intelligence Headquarters in the Citadel. I'll debrief you there. Acknowledged and understood. Khalil, you will also report to Drummond Cars. I assume Nemro won't be surprised by your sudden disappearance. He'll be hurt, but no one will be surprised that I left with the blade. And he's certainly not the first employer you've walked out on. In any case, I'll expect to see both of you soon. We're on our way. Good. Report to the shuttle as soon as possible. Keep her out. Spaceport. It's about time to make our way to the Imperial homeworld. missions they do provide good rewards and I actually think we'll go ahead and do it see if we can't get some better equipment out of the mission parameters and they actually do provide you instant teleport to the area for the missions so let's teleport and see what we've got we'll start with the emergency factory recall Now for these heroic missions, unless you're going to play with other people, you're probably going to want to set your companion over to heal, but we'll wait and see. For the bonus mission on this one, we have to defeat 18 of Fathra's tunnel forces. Part of this mission is to sabotage those security junction boxes, and there are four scattered throughout the sewers here. 
got to make sure that we eliminate the 18 Fathra members before we do all four of those. Is like I said, there are some things that if you get too far into the quest, will, they will cancel out your bonus. And unfortunately, we have other players in with us. So we may have to wait for some respawns in order to get the bonus objective. <laughs> champion so I'm gonna activate heroic moment champions are much harder than normal bosses this one's only level six thankfully but as you can see with heroic moment I have access to force choke sticky plasma grenade legacy dirty kick force sweep force lightning uh, project Flamethrower and Legacy Orbital Strike, which actually is the ultimate ability of the Imperial Agent. which gave me a blue matrix chart, which I can combine with others on, on drum and cross. And that also provided me with more galactic history. I'm not really sure how many datacrons I have collected at this point. That's something I'll have to take a look at later. Make sure you collect any of them that you come across. The history that it details about the Star Wars universe is actually pretty nifty. We just need to kill eight more Fathra members and then hope that there will still be some more of the circuit panels without having to wait for a respawn since there do seem to be quite a few people in the tunnels doing this mission.
you can see though, if you've got decent armor, a decent companion, and decent stats, you can solo some of these heroic missions. That takes care of all the security droids we need to destroy. Now we need to destroy these fabrication units. And that's all the industrial engineers that we need. fabrication unit from us, so we're gonna go and steal this one from her. Turnabout is fair play. And that got us some better weapon, some better armaments. Unfortunately, that did allow her to get that security chest, but that's alright. So we're gonna head off to the next heroic moment. This one we have a hostage situation and we need to find the factory security terminal. disabled the security and we need to get to the basement. This mission is to eliminate 16 of the renegade evokai. Alright, in that 
the bonus mission. We went up to level 18, and we gained personal conquest increases. I don't remember what the level cap for the planet of Droman Koss is, but I am relatively sure that we are going to be above their planet cap already as well. Another champion. I don't think we'll need heroic moment for this one though, since it's only at level six. All right, and with that down, we got a prototype a Darian pleated shirt, but it's not as strong as our current. So now we just have to free the hostages. And now talk to the foreman. says that he is outside of the old muckwork, so we have to get back outside. group of them out. And now I know how the evil guy got into the factory in the first place. Workers overheard the Bograts talking about their ship. Can you believe it? Bograts flying? Apparently they landed on the factory roof, but they're having mechanical trouble. How would you like to blow up the first and last evil guy starship? I'd be proud to help out. I got a stick of detonite here that'll take a little ship out, no problem. Just make sure you stand way back. Path to the factory roof is no joke, though. We'll pass that retaining wall, up the hill, and walk real careful like across the pipes leading into the factory. Then storm the place, blow up the Bograt ship, and come back. No problem. He makes it sound so easy. Alright, we got another Targeter's MK box with even better equipment, so we'll go ahead and equip that. And then we'll head off to take care of that spaceship.
champion. Let's see what level this one's at. Only level 5, so this shouldn't be a problem. Cleo's taking out the turret, so I don't have to worry about the damage from them. And that takes care of that. Got a better weapon. So we'll equip that. Now we'll take care of the spaceship. Now we need to get out of here before we get caught in the explosion. There we go. And that got us the title of Heartless. Because now the Evo Kai have no chance of escaping from the planet and the hut rule that they are under. And that got us better equipment. So now on to the final heroic mission. The man with the steel voice. Thought I'd give Cleo some help, but she handled it all herself. As long as you get good with your companions and get their companionship rank up, they can pretty much handle a lot of stuff on their own. You. The old man sent you, didn't he? I can smell his foul chemicals from here. Do you know what those chemicals do? They purify the water all right. But they also do disgusting things to the water beasts, mutating them and making them rampage. They come out of the water twice the size and ten times as vicious, and they're wiping us out. Maybe the old man didn't realize what his chemicals did. What? You think because he's dying, he's kind and innocent? That old man's crazy. He clearly doesn't care if we all die in his purification process. If you want to help, you should go to that station and smash the valves in back that release the chemicals. So no one can use that station ever again. But smashing the valve only caused the river to become polluted again. I'm sure we'd all prefer if the river was cleaner. But we're talking about murder here. Please, will you help us? I'm going to purify the river. Heartless murderers. If you would have chosen to smash the valves and protect the people who are living out here, let me know in the comments below. They have other options on this planet for places to settle, and a cleaner river will benefit more people in my opinion, so let me know what you think. Completing that got us more equipment. Now we should be wearing the full equipment set, I do believe, except possibly the boots. Now well, let's take a look and see what the character sheet says. Yep, we have everything. Well, nope, we don't have the belt to this set either. So we have an almost full set, and I'm good with that. Alright, so now that the heroic missions are complete, we can go ahead and head back to the spaceport.
there's another side quest that we missed. Well, let's take care of that. Excuse me, stranger. I don't mean to be overly familiar, but I think you're just the kind of person who can help me. My coward of a husband has taken my son, and I need someone with the wit and muscle to bring him back. Why would your husband take your son? Because he's both a coward and a fool. My son is gifted. Do you understand me? Gifted in the Force. He has the ability to train on Korriban and become Sith. My husband trained on Korriban. He had his chance at glory, but failed. And now he runs errands for a slimy hut. I will not have my son do the same. Please, you must help me. Let me go and talk to him. Good. I knew I'd find somebody sensible eventually. He took my son to the shuttle port. A comm officer there who owed me a favor contacted me when they showed up. Be careful. My husband may not be willing to walk away peacefully. How bad is very bad? Alright. How do you suggest I respond? I appreciate the advice. I told G.I. Parkale Tiam Jamas. Gaitai at Tikti, Irukrit, Beltini Savasia Savebe Kaijis. Alright, so we have to kill the real blade when we run into him. But first we'll deal with the husband and son. You're the one Gianna recruited to rescue her son. When she said you were on your way. Look, I'll point out her husband, but that's it. He seems jumpy, and I'm not risking my neck. Where's the man of the kid? Hey, hey, Kendrell, somebody wants to talk to you. Do I know you? What do you want with me? Do exactly what I say, or you're dead. Wait, what's all this about? You can't just come here and threat... My wife sent you, didn't she? My wife is so determined for our son to become Sith that she hires a bully to threaten me. I was once an acolyte at the Academy on Korriban. There's no failure at the Sith Academy. Those who can't cut it die. I got wise and fled before they could kill me, and I'll die before I see my son eaten alive by those Sith dogs. Let me take my son and flee. Tell my wife that you persuaded me, and we took the shuttle to Korriban. She won't know any different. Your son's going to Korriban, and there's nothing you can do to change that. Damn it all! Dad! If you would have chosen the opposite, let me know in the comments below. Being an Imperial agent and loyal to the Empire, I chose to send the boy for Sith training.
So now we'll go back and talk to the mother. Then we'll come back to here to the spaceport and get rid of the real red blade. Thank you for returning my son to me. I don't know what became of my husband and I don't much care. Soon Zion will be on the shuttle to Korriban. He did what was needed. I'm deadly and charming. Here's your reward, as promised. Zion may hate me for getting his father killed, but I hear hate and grief make for a fine Sith. They also tend to slaughter whatever they end up hating, so... I doubt she's thought that one all the way through. the real red blade. So, you're the one who killed my men. The pretender who wants to be the blade. You must be the pirate who's too scared to use his name. I'm the red blade, you worm. The real red blade. And you've got one chance to explain yourself before I burn a hole through your head. Hard to explain myself to a dead man. You're a piece of work, but you're not leaving here alive. Always gotta get those last words in. And with that, we reached level 19 and gained a combat proficiency point. So this time, we're gonna go with Kim resistant inlays to increase our damage reduction by 5%. take a shuttle to the Imperial Fleet, and from the fleet we will be on our way to Droman Kos. And we did get a side quest to learn about item modification, so we'll go ahead and stop off here at the item modification that completes that quest. 
I don't generally use item modification for people who are interested in crafting and doing item modification go ahead and take a look it does help players get stronger and better armor and weapons but I tend to just use what's provided to me by the story that we say goodbye to Haram. Alright, and now we got some items for Cleo for leaving Hutta, so we'll take a look and see which one of these looks like it would be best. All the items can't be previewed. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go with her Underworld outfit then. So then we'll go to the character sheet, go over to her open up on our inventory and then we'll give her her new stuff. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and summon the field repair droid and get rid of some of this other stuff. Oops, I had the legacy screen and I wanted the ability screen. Uh, it's still in cooldown, so we will have to find a vendor. That is the priority missions terminal, I'm not too worried about those. We're more or less just going to stick to the story portions for these streams. Go ahead and sell our unwanted stuff. Now we're heading for drone and cost departures.
So we are actually going to do the Flashpoint, the Black Talon, which will get us to Droman Koss after doing a full story mission. So you have two options at this point. You can head out to the shuttles and go to Droman Koss, or you can get to Droman Koss by picking up an extra mission, and that's what we're going to do in our next video. So this is our stopping point for today. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Please remember to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any installments. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.